So Greg and I met at church. Uh, we were both divorced and we were going through a divorce recovery class. And so it happened quickly. Um, we met in March, started dating. Well, actually we knew each other for a little longer than that. And then we kind of started dating in March and we got married in September. <laughs> that was fast. And um, I had three little girls, um, nine, five, and three. And he had one little girl and she was one. And so we had four daughters when we got married. Greg and I started coming to North Place um, the end of 2020, I believe, when um, COVID was still going on. And um, he says, we need to go visit this church, North Place. And I was like, oh, I've heard of that. And he says, well, we're gonna go there Sunday. And I'm like, well, okay. And you know, when you walk into a place and you are, you belong there, you, the people are so welcoming. I mean, it was like, wow. And so we went to the service and pastor was, incredible i i tell you what we were just like walked out of there and we looked at each other on the walking out to our car in the parking lot and we said uh this is where god wants us both of us and so that was incredible i was so excited i said yes so you know because it's exciting you don't have to go visit a bunch of other churches you know you're ready to 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 settle in and so that's what we did and and my husband did not waste a minute. We got involved immediately. And um, he met everybody, knew, just, he was not afraid to go up to somebody and say, and just find out their story. He wanted to know everybody's story. He didn't care about if they knew his, he wanted to know them. After we had been coming here for about, it was about a year and a half, and uh, got to know so many wonderful people and involved in so many great um, um, things that were going on in the church. Um, we found out that in March that Greg had an aneurysm and um, it was it was fine, it was intact, but you know, we were just gonna watch it and um, what the doctor said, don't worry. You know, we're just gonna keep an eye on it and everything. So um, things happened and in June, um, he had a stroke um, and um, it had nothing to do actually with the aneurysm, but they, um, he was in the hospital and doing well. Um, he, um, he took a turn for the worst and uh, there was, um, uh, the aneurysm had, um, had bled out and so he had a brain bleed and uh, that's what caused his death. And it was very sudden, he was in the hospital for uh, 10 days. And so it happened very quickly. And uh, sometimes it's still very, very hard to believe that, that he's not here. Yeah. When Greg passed, Mary and, and uh, Sharon, they just stepped in. They, they were there. They were, and Sharon's like, now, I'm going to text you a lot, but don't worry, you don't have to text me back. <laughs> I was like, okay, good, because I don't text a lot. But it was like, she was like, I just want, I just want you to know that I love you and I'm here for you. And you are not going through this alone. We will cry with you. We will laugh with you. We are here for you. You know, I came to, I came to church one Sunday and my kids actually, it was with my children, they said, Mom, um, we're all gonna go to church with you in the morning, so uh, what service do you wanna go to? And I said, oh, okay, uh, well, let's go to the 1040, 10 o'clock one. And I said, they said, okay, we'll meet you there. So we all got here and I have four daughters and they all were here with my grandchildren and my son-in-laws and pastor spoke about how that you can't let Satan steal your joy and that he can't, don't let him isolate you for things that have happened. And you know, that's a hard thing because when things happen in your life, like a death of your spouse like that, that's the first thing you wanna do is isolate yourself from everybody. I, after service, I went up to him and I said, thank you 
thank you so much because I needed to hear that. And I wasn't planning on coming today, but my kids all came with me, so it was for me. And so uh, after that, I came, I started coming back full force. I said, Satan, you are not going to steal my joy. I am back. I know, though, that this church is my family. I um, I feel like Greg's God, but God replaced him with so many more people. He, God has replaced him with so many more than I could ever imagine that he could have in this church. And I am so thankful and so grateful. When I think about all that he did for me, the least I can do is get up and serve Him. <laughs>